Wow, Chainlink is $14. At the time of filming this video, which is currently January 24th, the price of Chainlink is $14. We're going to break down Chainlink, we're going to break down Link, and understand what Link is currently doing. We're going to do this entire analysis from a smart money perspective, which is different from anybody else on YouTube. Everybody else on YouTube looks at it from a retail perspective. We have a smart money approach on the channel, and we're going to determine or examine levels of importance for Chainlink, where we can potentially backtest, which may or may not hold as support. But these levels are very, very important for Chainlink. Chainlink currently is ranked number 12. On CMC on coin market cap, it's only, it's worth fourteen dollars. Now, if you guys are interested, check out the Discord link in the description below. Also, check out the Patreon link as well. On the Patreon, the Discord is free, by the way. It's about two hundred guys over here. It's a very healthy community. But on the Patreon, uh, I do have a, a a chargeable service where I do call out all my live trades. Right now, the record is thirty four wins and eight losses. I have a full course as well. And I, uh, I also examine altcoins. If you guys want me to examine your altcoins, I do that twice a week, every Tuesday and Friday, Tuesday and Friday night, which in fact right now it is Tuesday night. So tonight I have to examine some altcoins. Now, without further ado, let's examine Chainlink. What is Link doing? All right, let's take a look. Link, to examine Link, we have to go from the top and we have to go to the bottom, which means you have to start from the monthly aspect and then make a move towards uh, the daily or the weekly, all right? So this is simply how price likes to move. Price likes to move from a level of premium to a discount. A premium being that when you buy at a discount, which is what smart money likes to do, the whales like to do, is they like to buy cheap and they like to offload their positions on people that are buying at a premium. Anything above the 0.5 on the Fibonacci extension tool, anything above the 0.5 on the Fibonacci tool is considered a premium. Anything below the 0.5 is considered a, um, a discount, right? So if I show you this right here, Anything above 0 0.5 is a premium. Anything below 0 0.5 is a discount. If you can see over here, the price came down to the 0 0.618. And in fact, we broke below the 0 0.618, giving us a beautiful entry if you were taking a look at a longing chain link. We had these equal lows. We broke below. This is referred to as the optimal trade entry. Anything below between the 618 and the 786 is a beautiful entry for link. What else is link doing? If you notice and you take a look at Link, we really break down the price action of Link. We can see that Link has made a series of lower highs and lower lows all the way towards the downside. We have continuously done this until this move up to $14. We have officially broken the downtrend for Link upon hitting the optimal trade entry. So we went to this discount, a very strong discount, a very deep discount. We went towards it. We wicked below it. We bounced we made a higher high. So we officially have a market structure shift. All right, this is very, very simple. Everything we've done right now is in, in that it looks like a reversal for chain link. Series of low highs and low lows down to a major support, which is the OTE, the optimal trade entry below the 618. We wicked and we had a big push towards the upside. Now, the importance of this video is to determine the levels of importance for chain link the major support that Link could potentially come down towards. At the time of filming this video, Chainlink is currently at $14. We have to take a look at inefficiencies for Link. On this big move towards the upside, Chainlink did not come up and fill up inefficiencies. What is an inefficiency? What is a fair value gap? An inefficiency is a three candle pattern. If you see over here, this is one candle, this is two, and this is three. The bottom of the third candle didn't come and touch the top of the first candle. This has left behind an inefficiency in the algorithm and the price. Price wants to come back down here and fill up this inefficiency and grab more liquidity. So there is money over here for price to come down towards. There is incentive for the price to come down over here. Okay, the three candle pattern. On the left hand side, we also have another inefficiency. This is an IFVG or an inverse fair value gap because we're above it. When you have two inefficiencies side by side like this, this makes this entire zone very, very strong. All right, so this entire level, I'm gonna point out the exact level over here. The exact level is $10.50 down to $9.62. This is a major area of support of liquidity for Chainlink. Let me look at the right hand side. If I use the swing low from this low to the high over here, we have to find discounts for Chainlink, anything below the 0 0.5, which are marked off over here. And this is 
it ten dollars so okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna read i'm gonna say everything i just said just now we have two inefficiencies overlapping each other makes it a very strong support zone we have the 0 0.5 which is a major discount zone for chain link which is a decent area for me to take a look at a long for chain link if you were to come back and back test this area if i were to buy at ten dollars again i'm saying me this is not financial advice if i were to buy at ten dollars if chain link were to come down here ten dollars all the way to fifty two dollars or fifty five dollars which is the all-time high is a four hundred and fifty percent increase towards the upside now again this is the 12th largest coin on coin market cap it is a possibility for the price to run higher than 55 dollars possibly much higher to 60 to 70 to 80 dollars depending upon what bitcoin does if bitcoin is truly in a bull market and it truly makes this move towards the upside i can see Chainlink making these moves towards the upside all right if you guys enjoyed this analysis hit the subscribe button i know many of my viewers watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel because i am talking about all coins and that the algorithm does push out these videos to people that are more interested in all coins so hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you liked the video and i'll see you guys soon Bye.